saying that Donald gives the governor the opportunity to look better. <laughs> so does Governor Huckabee agree? Joining us now is a 2016 presidential candidate and friend of our show, Governor Mike Huckabee. Governor, you look better this morning because of Donald Trump. <laughs> what is it about me that looks so great because of Donald Trump? Look, he's, uh, he's struck a nerve with people. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you. A lot of the things that he's saying... Those are things that, in, in many ways, I've been saying those for eight years before he was a Republican. Uh, things like talking about how China has cheated, talking about how there is this Wall Street to Washington axis of power that grinds out jobs against Americans. I mean, these are themes that I've been talking about. But let me say this. If you put as much air in my balloon, not just you, but if all the media will pump mm -hmm. the air in my balloon as has been pumped into Donald Trump's balloon, I'll be leading the pack as well. Well, that's a really interesting point, Governor. You know television. You had a television show for many years. What is it about yes. Donald Trump that dominates the headlines? I don't think many people believe he's going to be the nominee. Who knows? But most journalists don't think that, but they cover him intently anyway. Why? Well, I think he's a fascinating person. I mean, here is a guy who is a billionaire. Uh, he's running for president. He's... Uh, sort of unfiltered in a way that's refreshing. He is the bulwark of this campaign that says things that a lot of people feel, and, and they feel it intensely. You can see that on the campaign trail. Uh, I think many of the candidates, not just me, I think many candidates are saying strong and bold things, but we probably have of a filter because we realize that we're going to have to confront many of the things that we say later on, not only in the debates and in interviews, but if we are the nominee, and I hope I will be, then uh, those are uh, comments and tones that we're going to have to defend in a national debate when we're trying to go after Democratic and independent voters. Governor Huckabee, who do you think will benefit if, if Donald Trump is riding this wave, he's surging the polls right now, but what if the wave crashes and, and he gets wiped out? Who do you think will benefit from um, his presence early on? Is it the people who, who are, are not as polarizing and controversial, or who's going to benefit? I think it's uh, impossible to know that because, you know, this point eight years ago, Rudy Giuliani was the foregone nominee of the party. He was leading twice as many... Uh, percentage points in the polls as the next person. And from there, it was Fred Thompson, then it was Mitt Romney, then it was John McCain, and I was down in about ninth place, barely registering as an asterisk. I ended up coming in second, McCain first, Giuliani didn't get a single delegate, Fred Thompson dropped out right after South Carolina. So to, to try to figure out where this is headed this early um, is like trying to say at the beginning of a NASCAR race who's going to see the checkered flag. This is a long, long slog, and frankly, a lot of it has to do about what the issues are, how they change, and do people connect with personality? Do they feel like that person speaks not just to them, but for them? This week, when the polls came out in the Gallup poll and had me at the top of favorability, that's the number that our campaign keeps looking at, because when everything else is settled, people don't vote for someone they don't like. Hmm. Governor Mike Huckabee, you do look better this morning, I will say. <laughs> I don't know if it's the glow of the studio, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Thanks, Governor. Always great uh, to see you. Great to talk. Thanks, Governor. Yeah, have a nice week.